Greg has kidnapped me and taken me to some remote location and forced me to record an episode of Two Cousins Drinking. And today, we're Two Cousins Drinking Ballast Point Bonito Blonde Ale. Okay. Whether we like it or not. I like it. Can I drink? No. First, since we are outside, admire the color. It's blonde. Yes. Hay. Hay, hay. colored. Is that the proper color? Right. Mandarin hay in August. Now what? Now what do you want me to do? This time you will smell it. Hmm. Apricot I smell. Apricot. I normally just smell as I'm drinking. I know yeah. people who drink beer mm. sit and smell. and I do that with wine. It's the ever-present citrus we get from the lighter beers. Enough of this. Taste. Cheers. Cheers. Finally. That is just light and smooth. Yes. Uh, yes. Light in a, a good way. I mean, yes. it's very, very, very flavorful. Yes. Sometimes I say light, meaning not much going on. Yeah, there's a lot going on. But nothing's punching. There's no hops punching you. There's no, no, there's no citrus punching you. There's punching a you. citrus tartiness to it. Really? Tart is the word I'm thinking of. Tang. There's a tang to it. Like that? No, not twang. No, twang. Tang. No. Bonito blonde ale. Bonito is a French word meaning blonde ale. No. Now, normally breweries, when they do a blonde, the marketing is always a woman bikini something like that. Yes. This is called Bonito. Which is masculine. Well, yes. I thought that was interesting. It's Spanish for pretty, but it's the masculine yes. version. It took me a little while for that to click in my head. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> We're on the first beer here. Do we want to hit them with all the nerd stuff? Yeah. IBUs, ABVs, QVCs. Uh, ABV, uh, four and a half, and IBU, uh, 20. We told everybody it's made by Ballast Point? Yes. San Diego, California, United States. Retweet us, Ballast Point. You're, you're watching this, right? Retweet us, make us famous. We will it takes two seconds. We'll review all your beers after that. You don't even have to pay us. You could. Uh-oh. Do we have to pause? Oh crap, they found us. Thank you. My 911 call went came through. Uh, get in the house. Get in the house. We're not actually supposed to be here. Our cousin owns this place. You may know her from episode 8. She doesn't know we're here right now. Um, I think she said we could use her house at some point when she was out of town. Is fish a good uh, marketing tool for beer? Apparently. They're uh, the 17th largest brewery in the United States as of uh, 2015 when they were bought by Constellation Brands. Do you know much about Constellation Brands? They've got... Uh, this and that, tequilas, wines, vodkas. They were talking about Blondale. Let this set this apart from Blondale. They say the hops. They say it's yes. a stronger hop. Yes. Um, do normally, you, yes, do you feel I agree. That way? Yes, it is a, for a Blondale a little hoppier than normal. I would say for mm. a Blondale, this is more for people who are more into their beer. This will be my go-to Blondale. Are we jumping to questions already? No. This is your beer pantheon. We don't even need to do that later. I'm, beer I'm pantheon, making... right here. Blondale, both of us. Yes. Right here, right? Blue. It's so good. There we go, gushing again. I finished the first beer before you. Now that the helicopter's here, I should probably finish. Cerveza numero dos. Bonito. Bonito. Is it as good the second time? Yep. There's, it's the, uh, all, everything going on is still going on. It has not, uh, Lessened. Lessened on the second beer. Blonde ales are kind of the transition beer from the mass-produced lagers. This is, if you're uh, at a microbrewery with someone who only drinks uh, mass-produced lagers, this is what you order for them. It doesn't have, like, in-your-face flavors. It's very easy drinking. It doesn't have high alcohol. It's kind of a transitional beer into the uh, craft beer industry. Are you saying that's why they make this? That's, or that's yes. just the We're on beer number two halfway through. I'm JP. Well, I'm <laughs> I'm Greg. We're two <laughs> that's cousins drinking. That's a traditional opening to our show. Blue, am I even on camera? Blue! Oh. You've had this Bonito Blonde. Yes. Would you now try other Ballast Point beers? Absolutely. 
I see they have the IPA and the double IPA. I've had those at the festivals and I like them. You are barbecuing in your backyard for your family and I just show up at your house with a case of this. Are you happy to yeah. see me? Yes. Two, two cousins. Oh. Easy drinking. Greg's got me hostage. <laughs> If it came off in the pour, I just want everyone to know it was Greg who spilled his beer. Beer three! Finally. If people would only keep watching to the third drink, they'd know. He would know that this is where we ask stupid questions and get stupid answers. Like, what Star Wars character would you share this beer with? Ooh, not who does it remind me of. Who would I share this with? Yeah. I'm thinking Princess Leia. She seems like a sparkling wine. But I would try and... Hey, well, she married Han Solo, so... This is a transition beer, so... She transitioned from being a princess to a smuggler's wife. Why can't she transition oh. from sparkling wine to blonde ale? Too big. This is like a, an Ewok beer. I would drink this with Wicket, the Ewok. Uh, uh, yeah. uh, <laughs> that's the third <laughs> beer. Uh, would you pair this beer with a movie? Dune. Oh, whoa. The original David Lynch Dune. Ah, of course. I was thinking more like rom-com, like when Harry met Sally. What? what? Have you seen When Harry Met Sally? No. That's the funny uh, part. It has Carrie Fisher. That's two Carrie Fisher references. <laughs> mm. Oh. What food would you eat this with? Uh, these light beers always make me want to eat fish, but fish and chips. I can see that. That's fish a good chips. pairing. On their website, they say ham. Yeah, as one. Or chicken pot pie, or a lemon tart. I like ham. I think that's a good one. It's bonito. It could be a fish. Maybe that is a bonito oh, fish. Bonito fish. Yeah. It is a good looking we're, fish. We're experts on beer, but not on fish. I did. I did say fish and chips, and that's probably why. Oh. I think this is a uh, two cousins. Two cousins power activate. Let's make a superhero out of this beer. Hmm. The fact that it's bonito and a fish, I. Picture a little sort of Aquaman, a short oh. Aquaman guy, maybe three feet. He's blonde. Blonde with a sombrero. But he surfs, right? Yeah. No? Yes. Okay. That would be like, it'd be sort of a cross between Aquaman and Silver Surfer. What's his superpower? Ooh, he shoots... Sunlight? That's exactly what I was going to say. <laughs> and it doesn't like, it's not like a laser, it just sort of annoys people. Yeah, it's just bright light. Ah, what? Come on! I actually like the idea of this. It's the first superhero I'm really uh, into. We're almost at the end of the third beer. Yes. You have a cat in your lap, the strange random cat. Lewis. You don't know where it's from. It's just some random cat. Do you have final thoughts on this? I would say buy it. I would say buy this. I give this a 93 out of 100. Oh. I will mirror your 93 with a 93 of my own. This has been Two Cousins Drinking. Has it? With a cat.